It's often said that two things are certain in life, death and taxes. In this video, we take a look at the shocking truth behind WSOP poker winnings and taxes. As you are all aware, many WSOP tournaments have big prize pools with winners taking home huge, life-changing sums. But one of the most fascinating and often unpleasant aspects of the WSOP main event is witnessing how much of the huge prize pool goes to the taxman. In poker, it seems like the only thing you cannot avoid is taxes and rake. Taxes aren't really set in stone, but it takes some skill to get the best deal possible. An American citizen must pay taxes on any amount he or she wins at the WSOP, no matter how small the amount is. For a citizen from another country, this income tax will be perceived on any amount that reflects a net win of $5,000 in a tournament. From $5,000 up, an American will receive a W-2G form while players from other country will receive a 1042S form. US residents are taxed at 24% on any winnings exceeding $5,000. This is the federal tax and is withheld automatically while winners still have an obligation to report and pay the state tax on their own. For someone from another country, if this country does not have a fiscal treaty with the US, the rate of taxation on his win will be 30% of the net win. So a winner only gets 70% of the money when he does win along with the form 1042S stating the amount won, the net amount and the federal tax deducted. But they still have to pay whatever the tax is in their country, be it 0%, 50% or anything in between. Some countries, to avoid this double taxation, have included in their tax treaty with the USA some provision exempting their citizen from a 30% tax. If you come from one of these countries, you'll have to bring a W-8 BEN formed filed up. By bringing this form to the casino cashier to collect your winnings, the WSOP will be able to issue you an individual taxpayer identification number or ITIN and give you the full amount won. If you are a citizen from one of these countries and already have an ITIN, all you need to do is to give them your number and provide an ID in order to collect 100% of your winnings. If you are from one of these countries and do not provide the WSOP with either a W8BEN form or an ITIN, the WSOP will have to deduct 30%. You will be able to retrieve the 30% left behind by filing with the IRS at the end of the calendar year explaining your legal exemption. The runner-up of the 2014 WSOP main event, Felix Stevenson, was awarded $5.1 million as a result of his efforts. He had to pay more than 50% in taxes because he was from Norway and listed his occupation as a professional poker player. Martin Jacobson, the player who beat Stevenson in the Heads Up Battle, took home $10 million. Jacobson, who was born in Sweden and had lived in the United Kingdom for a long period, was subject to UK taxation. However, in the UK, poker winnings are not taxable, so Martin got to keep the entire sum. Corey Aldemir, winner of the 2021 WSOP main event, paid zero tax on his $8 million winnings after he relocated from Germany to Austria. Aldemir benefited from the US-Austria tax treaty, which means his income is exempted from withholding by the IRS. Austria also does not tax gambling income from its residents. Had he stayed in Germany, he would have had to pay a whopping 46% of his winnings to the German tax authority. Hossein Ensan from Germany, who was the winner of the 2019 WSOP main event, found this the hard way. Mr. Ensan's German Wikipedia page notes that he immigrated from Iran in 1990 and is listed as a professional poker player. Whether he's a professional or an amateur makes a huge difference for taxes. In 2017, the Federal Fiscal Court, Germany's highest court dealing with tax issues, ruled that professional gamblers must pay income tax on their net gambling winnings, while amateur gamblers do not have to pay income tax on gambling winnings. This classification was the difference between earning 10 million and earning 5.4 million. Assuming Hussein Insan was subject to income tax, he lost a whopping $4.6 million to the German tax authorities. That's the reason why many German professional poker players reside in the UK. They avoid the high German taxes. In the 2019 WSOP main event final table, out of the $31 million price pool, almost 40% went towards taxes. 
So technically speaking, the tax authorities were the biggest winners of the WSOP main event, taking home an insane 12 million dollars. So if you are serious about pursuing a poker career, this is something you should consider about ahead of time. Where you reside may have a significant influence on your overall earnings and can even determine whether you are a winning player or a losing player. If you are a full-time poker pro who attends the WSOP every year, paying 30% or more on your earnings will have a significant influence on the return of investment. And if that's not enough, you still have to pay rake in every event. You have undoubtedly noticed a discrepancy between the final prize pool of any WSOP tournament and the buy-in and the number of entries. Although the prize pool could be larger, a portion of the buy-ins is withheld to fund the organizing costs. You will have to pay rake and a lot of it if you want to play poker seriously, especially if you enjoy playing live poker. It requires money to run the live games. The organizers must cover the cost of the dealers, cards, chips and other miscellaneous charges as well as generate some money to make it all work. The amount of rake you are going to pay will depend on the buy-in. The bigger the buy-in of the event, the lesser the rake you have to pay, so technically you get a better value from these. The average rake for lower buy-in tournaments is about 10%. For example, in the WSOP 2019, in the $1,000 mini main event, there were 5,521 entries, so the WSOP charged a grand total of $552,100 in rake. For $5,000 buy-in tournaments, the rake was 7%, while all championship events, like the $10,000 buy-ins, were raked at 6%. And finally, for the high roller events, which are $25,000 and higher, the rake is 5%. The simple truth is that, while playing in the World Series of Poker, you'll have to factor in rake and taxes, so be prepared ahead of time. This video is powered by Bluff the Spot, the best place to learn how to win at poker from actual high-stake coaches like MMA Sherdog. Check the link in the description.